Hi, I'm Lane Roberts, the City of Greensboro's Waste Reduction Educator, here with you today talking about wasteless options for holiday gatherings. Uh, so the table split uh, from wasteless options to disposable options. Uh, most of the disposable options are not recyclable, uh, but we'll go through that as we kind of go through the table. Uh, so what we have first is our eatery, so our cutlery. Uh, and our reusable napkins and actual real real plates. Um, so if you don't have enough napkins or silverware at your house, I'm sure whoever you have uh, coming over, family or friend, probably has some extra silverware they can bring over. Uh, if you don't have reusable napkins and you don't want to buy any, uh, you can always buy some scrap fabric and make your own. And that could be like a fun holiday craft for your family and friends. And there you go, you have some reusable napkins. Uh, our styrofoam plates, plastic cutlery, disposable napkins, uh, none of that is actually going to be recyclable, whether it's a styrofoam, plastic, or paper plate. Uh, the napkins could be recycled, excuse me, could be composted if you do have a compost in your backyard, if they're not too greasy uh, or dirty. Then next we have, of course, an actual real cup. Uh, these are great. Um, you can get really fun and crafty. If you don't have enough mugs, you can always go to a thrift store and get all kinds of different types of mugs so everybody can have their own and nobody has to figure out whose is whose. Uh, and then, of course, we have our uh, solo cups or our plastic cups and styrofoam cups, which neither one of those are recyclable either. Um, so those would have to go into the trash. Uh, then I also like to encourage uh, guests to bring to-go containers because when they bring to-go containers, that means that that's less that I have to pack up myself and I get to send them home with lunch for tomorrow. Uh, these are really great to-go containers. I probably got this from fa some fast food restaurant and I just use this over and over and over again. Uh, sometimes at big gatherings, people do offer uh, styrofoam containers to send leftovers home with. And of course, just as the styrofoam cup, that styrofoam to-go container uh, is not gonna be recyclable and does need to go into the trash. Even if it's a plastic clamshell or a paper clamshell, all of those do need to go into the trash as well. Next, we have some um, adult beverage corks. So these do need to go into the trash, but if you wanna go the extra mile and recycle these, Earth Fair does have cork recycling for synthetic and real cork, so that's great. Uh, next, we have some silicone cups for muffins or cupcakes. Uh, these can be reused over and over again. Uh, then we have some paper uh, cups, which these could be composted if you have a compost in your backyard. Otherwise, they do need to go into the trash. Next, we have a reusable uh, casserole dish or muffin pan or whatever you might make in this. Of course, these can be used over and over again. If you do have disposable options like um, aluminum metal sheets and aluminum pie pans, and then, of course, this big boy, uh, for your turkey or chicken or whatever else you might be cooking. Um, if these are clean and dry, they can be recycled, but if they have ooey gooey cheese for macaroni and cheese, lots of grease, uh, lots of turkey juice or whatever else you might be making, if they're not clean and dry, they do need to go into the trash. Uh, but if they are clean and, and pristine, then they can be either reused or recycled. Okay, I'm gonna put that up here. Okay, and then next we have some serving ware. These are, per, per, for the most part, intended for single use, but of course you can use these over and over and over again. Just because something is intended for one use only doesn't mean that you can't wash it and reuse it over and over again. And then we have um, some actual metal ware that is intended to be used multiple times, which uh, should be used more than once. So there's that. Uh, and then my next uh, favorite is actually a sun tea. So a lot of gatherings, people often make uh, sweet tea, unsweetened tea, and we're in the South, sweet tea is a huge deal. So I really love to make sun tea, and sun tea is essentially what it says it is. So all you have to do is put your tea in a container and sit it outside for 30 minutes to an hour a day or however long, however strong you want it to be. Um, and you let the sun do the work for you, and then you don't have to buy a jug of uh, tea uh, to bulk up your refrigerator. 
This actually would be uh, recyclable. We do allow plastic bottles, tubs, jugs, and jars, so this would fall into a plastic jug, so this would be recyclable. This, of course, is reusable, can be used over and over again. Uh, lastly, we have our um, decorations. We really like to encourage people to uh, purchase decorations that can be reused over and over again that aren't single use. And of course, a lot of single use, just as the serving ware, just because it's single use doesn't mean that you can't use it multiple times. So when you're purchasing or you're looking for or making uh, decorations, think about whether or not it's recyclable or whether or not it's single use or whether or not it can be used over and over again. For example, this would not be able to be recycled. We often find a lot of times around the holidays, we see a lot of decorations, whether it be lights, wreaths, things like that um, being put into the recycling bin and lights and decorations like these are not recyclable. So, so please do put these in the trash if you don't donate them or reuse them. If you have any tough trash questions, download GSO Collects and search the Waste Wizard to find out what goes where. <laughs>